near side with it, Steve Thomas. The first penalty's over. Larmer over to Thomas, right in circle, pass, pick off on the near, gets a late pass, Coffey. Short-handed a breakaway. Coffey breaks in, makes his move. He shoots and scores. And the Penguins lead 5-2. to two. I'll buy Sam a drink and get his dog one, two. Paul Coffey with his second goal as a Penguin. A breakaway for 100 feet. 5-2, Pittsburgh. Well, the Hawks had a two-man advantage, but bye-bye. Lemieux made a perfect read, stealing the pass, and then turned and found Coffey. As he came out of Lemieux with the perfect lead, headman pass, and Coffey was off to the races. Made it look easy, too, didn't he? He snapped it past Mason, up high from the glove side. It wasn't even really that high. He just beat him right past his arm. And the Hawks were standing around on the two-man advantage. They really weren't moving the way they should be moving in that situation. There's so much open space. It's a lot easier for players to get open. Canada breaks out of a check. He goes into the Chicago and Coffee push him right between the legs of Pang, and in it goes. Paul Coffee gets his second goal, went right between Pang's legs, and the Penguins score again to lead seven to two. I'm not sure if Calendar might not have gotten his stick on that, or maybe not. Maybe it was Coffee's all the way. Got between the pads, and then Calendar swooped in, trying to get to a loose puck if there was one. Coffee kind of sneaked that shot in around Noonan, threw some legs, and it hit a leg, too, on the way in. So Pang could not be blamed for that at all. And it went right off of Pang's pads and off the post into the net. It'll be Paul Coffee's goal all the way. His second of the night, third of the year. That hit two bodies on the way in, I believe. That's tough to stop. Well, and Pang doesn't cover a lot of net anyway, so I mean, he's not going to get any breaks. Penguins have had games like this against them this year, and right now all the breaks are going Pittsburgh's way, and they lead 7-2 in the third period. Searing this time on the fence, looks for Kachowski. Around to Rod Brown. Brown a right wing pass to Coffey, stepping deep to Chicago, and first one. Goes right behind Pang, and the minute goes. <laughs> Pang had no idea where it was. It went right up over his chest, over his helmet, and back down behind him. It just rolled right up him, and in the net, the Penguins get another goal. A hat trick for Paul Coffey. And as strange a hat trick as you'll ever want to see. You don't see too many pucks go over goaltenders' heads and drop into the net, but then Darren Pang's not your average uh, goaltender in terms of height. Coffee shot in the puck and hit him, rolled up over his shoulder, popped in the air. Pang had no idea where it was. <laughs> well, it's one of those nights, it is. And the Penguins enjoyed it. It went off a of Pang, and it went Ping. Unbelievable. And Pong. What a night. 8-3 Pittsburgh. 